I think you earn your way to the top. He's had a crack at it with Man U. Didn't quite go well for him. Um, is he is he somebody who you see standing on the touchline at a club like that again? Man City, Man U, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, these type of teams, Chelsea? No, I don't think so. I think he's the type of manager that works really, really well with a club like Everton, West Ham, if you like. I know Everton have moved forward a little bit since in terms of the finances with the new ownership, etc., and their ambition. But he gets teams well organised, and, he, and he's he's basically a defensive manager, Moyes. You know, let's make no bones about it. He knows how to organise a team. That Everton team he managed for all those years, this, their success came from being very well disciplined, mm. well coached, hard to beat, tenacious. Yes, they had quality at times, good quality, but they were very, very well organised. And West Ham are the same. They've, West Ham have played, now got a back four, played a lot of the season with a three, with wing backs to make them hard to beat. Then they, could re then they got some momentum and confidence and he thought, I can go to a four and try and be a bit more attacking, which is the right way to go. He's got players playing above the levels you thought maybe they could achieve, I think. A lot of those players, they've got better under him and his coaches, by the way, because he always has a good team around him, Moisey. Um, and I think this season he deserved tremendous credit for where West Ham are at. I really do. Mm. I, I see a team that's well balanced, coached well, players know their jobs, they're playing for him. And of course, he's got some quality players. But ultimately, I, I still don't see West Ham finishing in the top four. I think if they finish in a Europa, a Europa, Europa League place, that would be a tremendous achievement. Not top four, though? No. Reason? Just as better teams. Right. I think Liverpool have bounced back. I think Chelsea now are on a bit of a roll. I think they're, they're, they're punching above the weight at the moment. In a unique season, to be honest. Very unique season. And mm. they have done well in certain games against better opposition, but more often than not, they, they get done, even if it's a bit of bad luck. or they, they, tend to be, they tend to come unstuck against the best teams, if you look at the results against teams above them. Well, this is where I want to bring in the, the striker thing, because um, David Moyes did speak about this in January. At the start of January, he said he, he really wanted a striker, but he also stressed that they didn't want to waste money uh, if they couldn't find the right striker. At the end of the window, he said um, there were various names put to me, 25, 30 million pound players. And he felt that none of them were good enough, which is fair enough. I yeah. mean, if, if you don't think they're good enough and they're not going to play, what's the point in wasting that money? But why didn't they go higher than that? Why didn't they put a bit more money into a bit more investment into it and seal a striker that could have made a difference? It might just be the difference. Who knows at the end of the season? But nobody could have predicted Liverpool would be this bad where they are. And you're right, they mm. might bounce back, but they might not. Mm. Chelsea might have a great run like they did on the Lampard and then go again. Yep. So there may be a top four place up for grabs. And if West Ham had signed a striker, uh, even as a backup to Antonio, which you know he probably would have played last night, that could have given them that little bit extra that might have made the difference. But we'll never know.